In this video, we're going to look at how we can convert between different types of temperature. With temperature, we can't use dimensional analysis because 0 degrees Celsius is different than 0 degrees Fahrenheit. And so we need a better way to convert between temperatures of Celsius and Fahrenheit. To do that, we have two equations. To find Celsius, it's going to be equal to 5 times parentheses Fahrenheit minus 32 over 9. Or to find Fahrenheit, we'll use the formula 9 fifths times Celsius plus 32 to find the equivalent temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. So let's take a look at some examples and see if we can make these conversions. It's well known that 98.6 degrees is body temperature in Fahrenheit. Let's find it in Celsius. Whoops. In Celsius. So we're looking for Celsius, so we're going to use that formula 5... Where did my Celsius go? We're going to use 5 times Fahrenheit minus 32 over 9. Plugging in 98.6 for the Fahrenheit, we have 5 times 98.6 minus 32 over 9, and it's order of operations from here. We know we have to do the parentheses first, so 98.6 minus 32 is 66.6. 5 times 66.6 over 9. Finishing out the numerator, because we have to simplify the numerator before we divide, 66.6 times 5 is 333 over 9. And then when we divide 333 by 9, we get body temperature in degrees Celsius, which is 37 degrees. Let's take a look at another example where we identify which formula to use and then use order of operations to find the equivalent temperature in the opposite measurement of temperature. Whoops. Get rid of this. 100 degrees Celsius. It's the boiling point of water. We're going to find out what temperature water boils in degrees Fahrenheit. So in this one, we're looking for degrees Fahrenheit. The formula for Fahrenheit that we started with was 9 fifths times Celsius plus 32. So we're talking about 100 degrees Celsius. We'll plug that in for the Celsius. 9 fifths times the Celsius times the 100 plus 32. Order of operations then, working left to right, we're going to do the division 9 fifths first. 9 fifths is 1.8 times 100 plus 32. Finishing the multiplication, 1.8 times 100 is 180 plus 32, and finally, order of operations does the addition last, 180 plus 32 is 212 degrees Fahrenheit, whoops, 212 degrees, is going to be the equivalent boiling point of water in degrees Fahrenheit. So we can quickly make these conversions between Celsius and Fahrenheit by being sure we use the correct formula to convert. When we're looking for Celsius, we use the formula 5 times Fahrenheit minus 32 over 9. When dealing with... when we're looking for Fahrenheit, we use 9 fifths times Celsius plus 32. The important thing to remember is order of operations to simplify, doing parentheses first, multiplying and dividing, and then adding and subtracting.